Alright, welcome everybody to Project Isis. This is going to be where we make our item cart delivery system, and we're going to see how this works out. Now, I built a prototype for a new locking mechanism I'm designing for this. I'm not going to go full into the tutorial of it, but I'm going to build it as I talk about it, so I'm keeping this as almost a reference point to it. Um, as you see, it's back and forth. It's seven, uh, seven bits in it as opposed to the 4 bits we had in the other one, and it's actually smaller than the 4-bit locking mechanism. So it, it helps out really that good that way. Uh, there's a combination on the bottom, I'll show it to you. You got uh, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. I don't know if that's any fancy number or not, but that little light says it works, which is great. And so I'll go into further detail of why that works. Now basically this is utilizing a three-part AND gate, a single switch, and another three-part AND gate. And I'll go into a little bit more detail on how that works together. You can look see how all this uh, redstone gets wired through. This is one of the three gates, this is a single input, and this is another three gate. And again, they're all connected, ironically, through a three-put AND gate. So normal AND gates, as I mentioned before, have two inputs. This is going to be using a three-input AND gate, which is a... Uh, Pretty nice. Makes things a little bit more compact. Lots more complicated though, so that's why I'm going to explain it right now. To make your three-part AND gate, you want to have it so that your your game doesn't lag, and so that you have it placed almost like a T shape. There we go. Okay, so it goes like this. Do them out here. One goes here. One goes here. As far as I remember, let me check real quick. Goes that way. Goes that way. Oh, okay, you want these and those. So that goes this way. This is why I had the prototype because I was just messing around with this at first. I didn't know exactly how it was going to work out. So I actually put it like this, and then the T shape is opposite that. That's how it works. should be this way. There we go. Okay. So what you want to do is, actually I should probably do this right off the bat, label these. So this is going to be my switch here, there's a switch here, there's a switch there. Hmm. That's neat. They kind of come in different things that could be on or off. Uh, actually yeah, let's put them on for now for testing purposes. That works really well. Okay. So, bottom here, as far as I remember, as you can see, there's torches on each of these, and if you take off a torch and replace it with just a wire, it becomes the opposite of whatever input you put into it. So there's space there, space there, okay. and these are very important right here, as I'll show you, put our thing there, there's that thing there that thing there. Now, this comes out, and this comes out. Now normally, if this wasn't here, that torch would now be interacting with that torch, which we don't want. We want each one to have its own separate input. So, put that back. I do believe I need a second row of them. Oh, looks like I only need one. So then these connect all in one specific thing. And then, I have this negated coming out, so it comes back into this AND gate, but you don't actually need this little torch right there. So, I'm just going to get on building this, and can enjoy a little bit of music, follow along, because this is really coming in handy for when you want to design your own gates and your own locks and everything. Uh, let's see, I'm going to actually make a little, just a proof of concept, so that all of these are down, that is turned on. If I turn one of these off, or both, or neither, or all, whatever, it's going to be off until all these are turned on. Say I wanted it so that when these two are off and this one is on, then it works. What I have to do is, all I have to do is replace these two with just regular wires. So that gets replaced with the wire, and this gets replaced with the wire. Now it turns on. Isn't that cool? So now only 
when this one is turned on, the wire gets turned on. So if I turn this off, it doesn't work. The wire turns on. This one gets turned on, the wire turns off. So it's a more complex logic gate, but it's really, really fun, and it makes things really, really small, which is what we're looking for. So, let's see, I'm going to build this backwards almost. Let's make sure I'm following this. Because I want to use this combination for the thing, because it's nice and it's actually symmetrical. It's nice. So we got that one, that one, and the inside one is turned off. Sweet. So we just have to... Inside one is turned off, so this one gets replaced with a torch. Sweet. That's done. Now what I did with the middle one, I just made it... I wanted to make it so it goes, you know, up, down, up, down, up, down. So I put this one in the middle, and it's basically just a good old-fashioned switch. There's no gate or logic in it at all. So that works really well. It goes on top of here because there's circuitry going on underneath, and it would get in the way. I said I was going to stop talking and building, but I like to talk, I guess. <laughs> also, Fraps has been really lagging my game lately. It's not helping much, but eh, you get used to it. i got to put that there. And what's neat about this piece interrupts any kind of flow between all this stuff. So I'm going to put my switch on this side. There we go. Now the game's getting back in. So you don't belong there. You belong here. You go there. And the way I had it was two blocks were here. Oh no, it's nighttime. Uh, I'm going to cut this real cut this short real quick and wait till daytime so it's better for recording. See you then. Alright, and we're back. So, as I was saying before, uh, we're gonna keep building this thing. Hopefully, there we go, okay. Uh, this keeps coming out. Let's see. About this far. Uh, instead of hooking this out, I'm just gonna keep it going this way. This far, I think. But let's keep building this. That goes there. Let's see, let's go over there. I have one down here, up here, down here. Let's see where we might switch this out. There, there, and there. Great. And for testing purposes, let's keep those. I believe that one's on. Yes, the middle one's on. Okay. So that's there. So it comes here. Oops. Goes right there. Okay, so we want more torches. One there. One here. And one here. And this is going to come out twice. It's going to be a thing here. There, there, and here. Just need another torch. And okay, we can hook this up then. Uh, let's actually, I think I can do it this way. Let me check real quick. It's great to have prototypes. This is one, two, three far away, and then it gets triple. I guess I could also explain why this is a, a really good idea, because this is going to be a pretty big device, and I'm trying to make it as small as possible where I can. Uh, basically, this is going to be a system where a minecart, I guess an item cart, will be able to deliver your items to you, instead of you going into a vault or whatnot to get your items. Um, the way this is really good is because not only does it make it, you know, really cool to have an automated system, but your... Is it connected? Why is it connected? Ah. This doesn't belong. Um, not only is that good because, you know, it's cool, but you now have a system where it's completely griefer-proof if you're playing this on a server or what have you. So that, you know, if you were to encase this whole thing in Adminium, there would be a one-by-one -one hole that a minecart could come in and out, and no person could get in there. So you have basically an impenetrable vault. Okay, these are all connected. 
So this is another thing. Good. So these come out by two. And I could probably even shrink this just a bit more, but I'm not going to. This, this should be good for now. So that comes out there. And here. And here. Oh, I forget if there's a torch on the end. Is there...? Nope. Okay, so good. They're all connected out, and it's basically an ore gate. Lovely. Alrighty. So then, this is essentially saying that when that's turned on, all the outputs are correct, as far as I remember. So, on, on, off, on, off, on, on. Everything looks good. These are all turned off. Actually, if I want this output to be a true value, I'd have to invert this. So there. So now when this is on, everything's good. Okay, great. And that's basically... So let's say if I screw that up, those two are off. That's going to be off. Great. Alright, so... That's as far as we have with the lock. What's going to come next is that true value is going to go... Let's see, let me check. I have a little diagram here written in front of me. Uh, that true value is going to go into an AND gate with a button, and that's going to release the minecart from a loop. Basically, there's going to be an item cart spinning around in a loop, and it's just going to be chilling there. And when you push this, when you have the correct combination and you push the button, it's going to change the circuit so that the item cart comes, comes out of the system comes out probably here or something towards you, maybe like right here will be good, comes towards you and then you can take your items out, you can do whatever you want with it, it'll land on a pressure plate that'll reset the switch inside the system, you just push your item cart back into the circuit and then it'll go flying in and it'll get back in the loop and it'll be stored there forever. So if you were to encase this whole thing in adminium, there's no doors or anything that somebody could hack through it. So it's essentially griefer proof if you were playing on a multiplayer server, or just really, really awesome if you're playing on a single player. So uh, that's the first part of this. I have the lock designed, and locks in working order. Next episode, we're going to hook all this together, and hopefully build the, the essence of everything. And then later on from that, we're going to complete the entire uh, building and make this nice and secure. It's going to be great. So I will see you guys later. Have a good one.